Hi friends! So for today's makeup tutorial look, I created a foxy eye. It actually has been trending lately and I just wanted to try it out for myself. So if you're interested in how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm priming my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 10 Fair. And I'm just putting that on my eyelids and then taking a brush and blending that out. I'm using the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lane and ColourPop and going into the color Shooting Star. I'm using the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild crease brush and using that color all over my crease just to deepen it up. And I'm kind of taking it out towards like my temple because I kind of want it to be sharp. And then I'm going to continue to build up this color Shooting Star in my crease. I'm taking this Morphe brush in M212 and dipping it, it into the e.l.f. palette in that darker shade just to deepen out the outer corner of my eyes just to create that fox eye, kind of like a fake wing line. I'm using e.l.f. detail crease brush and using this brush to blend out any harsh lines. So I'm adding more of that brown shade from the e.l.f. palette and putting it on my outer V but also dragging it into my crease as well. And you know me guys, keep on blending, just blend, blend, blend. Going back into the Dream Street palette, I'm taking this color in Elfish and just deepening it, deepening my outer V. Again, each color, um, it's more darker just to deepen it out. And then I'm using the same brush, the Morphe M212. And then going back to the Elf Detail Crease brush and blending that out and then adding more of this Elfish color. I don't know why but I always struggle with this brown color like for years now like I don't know sometimes it just isn't blendable and sometimes it just isn't deep enough but I don't want to give up on it I still try to use it and then I just keep looking at the viewfinder just to make sure that I don't look crazy because I feel like sometimes when I look at the mirror it's not what I see at the camera so I just trust the camera and then I kept switching back with the Bremen Rock crease brush and this e.l.f. brush just to continue blending out this color because again I freaking struggle with this brown color and then I went back into Shooting Star which is the ori original crease color and just trying to like buff it out. using this light shade from the elf palette to highlight my brow bone and also I'm putting this on my eyelids just to brighten up that area as well. Moving on to my face, I'm using the photo finish primer from Smashbox and putting this all over my face and my neck area as well. For foundation, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 118. Usually I have, well, I had 120 but I had to get a lighter shade. I use a flat brush to just paint it on my face and then using Morphe, I believe it's M439 and buffing that into my face. I love this brush because it doesn't leave any streaks and I really can't use a beauty blend blender anymore, beauty sponge, because it just soaks up the product. And then I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just putting it on my pimples and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild crease brush and then I'm just blending or patting the concealer on.
using the same concealer for my primer it's Maybelline fit me in the shade 10 I'm using this to conceal my under eye area and then using that same wet and wild crease brush and just blending that all out using the Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 10 I'm setting my under eye and also using a bigger brush and setting my whole face I'm using the Narcissist Cheek Studio Palette and using the bronzer, bronzer shade Laguna and bronzing, on, bronzing up my cheeks, my forehead, my jaw and then of course my double chin. So I don't know what got over to my head but I decided to contour my nose and I just used the same bronzer and then I kind of made circle on the tip of my nose to make it a button nose and then I went to the contour shade and then just did kind of contoured my cheeks a little bit to deepen it up so for blush I just used that blush shade honestly on the back it just says number three so I'm just putting this on my cheek to make it you know a little you know a little flush I'm using Bremen Rocks 3 and 1 setting spray and spraying the highlighter brush to intensify the highlighter so for the highlighter I'm using Kylie Bible eyeshadow and highlighter palette and I'm mixing the first two shades and highlighting my cheeks my chin and my nose for lips, I'm using ColourPop Candy Paint Matte X and then I'm putting this on my lips and then taking a wet and wild brush, like a flat brush and then just spreading it out towards, like blending it out towards like my lip line just because I don't have a lip liner and yeah, I'm just doing this all over my lip and smudging it out. You thought I was done with my eyes? Think again. So I'm using this flat brush and using the same color Elfish and just smudging that under my waterline. And again, just connecting that color to the line on top. I'm also taking Elfish into the inner corner of my eyes just to create that cat eye, fox eye effect. And then I'm switching the brush for a more angle brush that has a tip to it just again to create it and smudge it out. For mascara I'm using Bad Bitch Lift by Bretman Rock and yep just put using this mascara because it's the baddest in the bunch. Then I use this clean spoolie by e.l.f. and then I just kind of like cleans up any area that looks spidery. I'm using this LA Girl eye pencil in the shade brown just to deepen my waterline. And then to set my face I'm using Bretman Rocks 3-in-1 setting spray and that completes the look. If you guys really want that really pull effect I see a lot of people just do like really tight ponytails or like you do half up half down to give it that more tight foxy eye look. Alright guys and uh, that completes today's video. I hope you have a beautiful day. Continue being safe and I will see you in my next video. Um, bye!